Hello YouTubers, my name is X Factor. A couple days ago we broke down the suppression, optic sway, and flinching mechanism in Battlefield 4. A couple of you guys asked, hey, why isn't your screen as blurry as mine when I'm being shot at and what's up with your shadows? Well today I'm going to show you how to make a custom config file, what's in mine, and how much of a difference it can make when it comes down to the suppression mechanism and the shadows and helping you see people better in Battlefield 4. So let's go over a couple of things. First and foremost, I have this config file off. Typically you're going to see a number in the top right hand corner, an FPS counter. That's not there. Shadows are in full effect and the motion blur is going to be cranked up quite a bit. The only thing altering my game experience right now is the video settings. And you're going to notice the motion blur is all the way off. I'm going to show you how to take it all the way off with the config file. It's going to get rid of all motion blur beyond what this video setting lets you do. Then, of course, a bevy of settings on the right, high, medium, low. So, config file's off. The only thing altering this experience is the video settings. Queek, why don't you go ahead and suppress me, bro? Look at all that blur in the trees, whether I ADS or not. That is what we're going to get rid of. It's going to allow us to see quite a bit better. So let's take a look, when I pop that config file on, how this changes. Okay, I left the game, I turned on my config file, and re-entered Battlefield 4. You're going to see the FPS counter in the top right-hand corner, that bright green number. That's one of the lines in my config file. That means I know it's on and I know it's working. Before, when Queek was suppressing me, everything was blurry. How about now, Queek? Give me a suppression. No blurry trees whatsoever. Just pretty, pretty trees. This config file, these settings allow you to get rid of all motion blur, which can be a hindrance when you're trying to get an eye on enemy players. Not to mention it knocks down the shadows quite a bit. So how about we go over what you can put in your config file and how to make one. Quick, thanks for your help. Cheers. The first thing we're going to do is access our desktop, then find the drive in which we installed Battlefield 4. For me, it's a local C drive. We're going to double click the program files x86. We're going to double click Origin Games, then Battlefield 4 subfolder. This is where we're going to create and store the config file in this mess. But be very careful. Don't delete any of these files. Don't drag them into a subfolder. Don't delete a subfolder. But we're going to steer clear of all of that mess. We're going to go all the way down to an open space. We're going to select New, Text Document. Now, it does not matter what you save this file as right now because it's how we're going to save the file that really matters. So let's just call it user for now. And I took my config file, drug it out to the desktop so we can simply copy paste. I'm going to give you guys the ability to do the same thing in the description of the video down below will be all these settings. So let's take a look at what I actually changed. There's a mix of lighting effects, shadow effects, and a ton of motion blur that I turned off along with a couple other things being tweaked. So here's a shadow setting. Here are all your motion blur settings. There are quite a few of them and we turned all of those off basically. And another important one for me is render device dot force render head limit zero. That's a video card setting. Then show FPS. How do you draw your FPS? Right here. Perf overlay dot draw FPS space one. This is a good idea if you're doing your config file for the very first time, even if you hate the FPS counter. Why? Because if you get it right, you save it correctly, you create it correctly, it's going to show your FPS. You know it's working. So you can simply go back in there, delete that line, or simply change this to a zero. And next, if you want to limit your FPS, which I'm doing again after not doing it for a while, after reinstalling 8.1, game time dot max variable FPS 119.98 because of the frequency of my monitor. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, there are two different numbers you can try. One is 60. The other one, which a lot of people have more success with, is 59.94. So it's going to be FPS space 59.94. If you see any sort of tearing, make sure to try that 59.94. And of course, uh, turn off VSync. If you're using VSync, that creates input lag, and it's not great for shooters, even in today's day and age. So if you want a sharper, more responsive experience, turn off VSync and use this to limit your FPS. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply open what we just created and just like you would be copying my settings from the description in the video down below we're just going to simply copy and pasta just like that now here's the important part if you want to make edits or changes go ahead and do so now the important part is how we save this file we're going to go to file save as and it's not going to be a text document this is very important first we're going to go to all files because we're going to change the extension of this file so if you see all of this stuff pop up, that means you did it right so far. 
we're going to create user dot cfg just like that then we're going to exit out of our file then we're going to look for a guy with a cfg file extension just like that they can right click and open it again if you need to make changes so if you hate the fps and you don't want to see it anymore once you got this thing set up again you can create this as a zero or delete the line or if you want to tweak how your max cap fps is you can come in and do the same thing and then delete these or add more as you see fit that's how you create a custom config file and change it. Hopefully you guys found this information useful. Hopefully it helps you on the battlefield when you're being suppressed and trying to spat, spot bad guys before they spot you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And let me know what you think of this config file. We'll see you soon, YouTubers.